Hi, this is Michael Canales at Green Tech Media, and I'm at C Tech. It's Japan's largest consumer electronics show. This year, the big trend is 3D. Everyone's showing off 3D TVs for the home. You're also seeing a lot of emphasis on energy efficiency, and of course, really cool cell phones. Now, five years ago, nobody was talking about energy. They were only talking about how big your plasma TV was going to get. But with carbon taxation, rising energy prices, energy is really coming up to the top and they see this as the next big uh, opportunity to export. Panasonic's actually one of the biggest advocates of this, and they have one of the hot products here. It's the Eco Navi washing machine. What makes it Eco? It's got a tiny sensor that sends electrical impulses through the water that detects sweat stains on your clothes, and that tells the washer when it can stop actually washing. It also has a light sensor for detecting dirt stains and things like that. It saves water, it saves power, and your wash is done somewhat a little earlier than it would have been ordinarily be. Now this is where energy and TVs combine. Hitachi's got a lot of technologies that can help you reduce power consumption in a TV. And that's important because California and a lot of states are now beginning to regulate that. With this TV, when you walk away or if you fall asleep, the TV senses that your face is no longer looking at the TV and it shuts off. It goes from using about 300 watts to just 10 watts. And that can add up over a long year. Imagine how many times you get up during a program. This probably looks like an ordinary 32 inch TV to you. Ah, but look at this. 31.2 watts. An average TV like this will use about 150 watts. How are they doing it? Hitachi's invented a thing called a hot cathode fluorescent light. Now basically what that means is they only have two light bulbs in this TV set. Ordinarily, you might have to use 10 or 15 to get the ordinary kind of illumination. By cutting down the number of light bulbs, you can get to these low power states. Again, another ordinary TV, au contraire. This is another experimental TV from Hitachi. It's got LEDs to illuminate it. But instead of blocking off the light when there's a dark scene with filters, it just turns the LEDs down and that can really reduce power consumption. Now this is Sharp's vision of the home of the future. In this home, you're gonna have DC power, so it doesn't have to be converted to AC. It'll cut your power bills about 10%. You can charge your electric car there. And one of the key elements is gonna be LED lights. That's what's going on in the background, those green, blue, yellow things going on. LEDs use about a tenth of the power of a regular incandescent bulb, and they're finally getting cheap enough. Sharp just put out a bulb, actually, that's only $40. That's half the price of the bulbs were a year ago. It's because they're so small, you can put a bunch of them into a light fixture and get color effect. This display here, the colors are tuned to what's being shown on the TVs. This is the Mitsubishi MIEV. It came out earlier this year. It's a town car. It only goes about 80 to 100 miles on a charge, but it's good enough for commuting. Subaru just put one out, and next year the big release is going to be Nissan's Leaf. That car is going to be freeway capable, and it's going to cost about $30,000 before subsidies. Consumers like this, the price has got to come down, but there's clearly a lot of interest in it.